Hi, welcome to Pizza Dance Videos. I'm here to answer a question from Simon. Um, he's written in saying, Hi, I'm currently in my final year of an exercise and health degree in Ireland, and I'm doing a dissertation on the benefits of accommodating resistance training with bands against fixed load training, and I'm assuming uh, basic resistance training using free weights, or in this case machines, in developing maximal power outputs, and was wondering if you had any views on the topic. Any help or views would be greatly appreciated. So let's get first get started, Simon, by uh, having a quick chat about um, the way we actually use free weights or using a machine. Um, we're always capable of, of putting in a, a massive weight load uh, and power at the beginning, but you can't power all the way through um, weight training with um, a free weight or a machine because either your limbs are going to lock and you're going to cause injury um, or you're going to end up throwing the, the free weight into the air. Um, um, understanding, of course, that free weights are used to be uh, pulled away from gravity. So. If you're in a position where um, you're on a type of rack like a like a power rack that has um, an assisted bar that you can throw around in a bench press or you can do jump squats etc then that's fine but if you're just using free weights and machines um, they're not designed to be able to put out uh, maximal power um, strength yes because you can always just lift a heavy weight but power is about getting that weight um, through speed so this is where bands can really come into play if you look at um, doing a bicep curl, for example, um, and you used a free weight, as soon as you pass the 90 degree mark, so as soon as you start getting to that 90 degree mark and then you go beyond that, uh, the weight becomes dramatically lighter. So if you're trying to create power through that weight load, um, at the end you're going to have a lot of difficulty because you're going to get a massive amount of speed not because your muscle tissue is contracting, but simply because the limbs are in a position where they can take a lot of the weight load, uh, making the actual resistance lighter. So what we're trying to do here is, if you actually use bands, bands are very different because bands will actually increase in resistance as the tension goes through. So as your muscle is contracting more and more and more, and in free weights the weight will normally get lighter, with bands it's actually getting heavier. So with bands you've got an opportunity to be able to put in a massive explosive effort at the beginning and carry the explosive effort all the way through because if you pick a band with enough resistance um, what's going to happen is you may not be able to go through the full range of motion. Now if you pick a really light weight with uh, dumbbells or a free weight and you're capable of producing enough force with that to actually get power output then what's going to happen is you're just going to end up throwing it or the machine is going to go through its full range of motion so that's the main differences between using bands. Now the problem is, it's hard to get your hands on bands that are uh, strong enough to be able to uh, do power training with. So what you can do is just get multiple bands and put them together to create enough tension um, so that you can push through and, and create enough power at the very beginning. And you don't have to worry about locking your limbs or going through a full range of motion because the tension will be enough to be able to hold yourself back. Um, don't forget, all with all power work, it's all about getting a really heavy weight and just trying to produce maximum intensity, all ATP output, um, massive explosiveness. Um, it's a big mental game, just trying to produce enough force. And if you pick a, a weight with um, um, weights, then it's hard. So a lot of power um, is for, for athletes is normally done in actual sports. So you get a strength base from your weight training and then use the strength base of your weight training to create that speed in your sport. So let's say for example um, a 100 meter runner um, practicing um, getting off the blocks. So you'll do a lot of um, explosive work um, with um, leg press etc, squats to strengthen your quads and glute ratio etc so that you can have that strength but then you use that strength to actually practice exploding off the blocks to produce that force. So what happens is that you don't actually produce power in the actual um, weight room, you'll do that on the actual track. But with bands what you can do is you can actually attach bands uh, to your body um, and actually practice exploding off the blocks and the bands will actually hold you back. Um, so that's another really great benefit too. They're very, very sport specific. Um, we can't do that with free weights in the gym. And that's really important because the human body is very specific as well. Um, in order to be able to jump high, 
high jumpers back in the day used to do a lot of squats, etc. But then they realized, hey, strengthening your legs isn't going to create that power. So if you want to be able to jump high, we've got to actually practice jumping high. So um, the bands can be accommodated more into sport than, than the resistance training and your weight training can as well. So that's another big thing to think about as well. Um, so in conclusion, um, to create power, you need to be able to go heavy, but to create that maximal force output and do it as fast as you possibly can. That's what power is. And with weight training, it's dangerous um, because the machine will either lock your limbs, um, you'll create bad posture, or it's, you're not going to be able to create force all that way through the entire rep range. Because at the top of a rep, uh, the weight always gets lighter, and when it gets lighter, the speed dramatically increases, not because your muscles um, are getting stronger at that rep range, uh, but because the weight's transferring to your limbs. Uh, bands have a great advantage in this sense uh, that the bands increase in resistance and get heavier at the top. So if you pick a band that has a strong enough resistance, um, as that speed is accelerating, so as I'm doing a bench press, for example, and that speed is accelerating through, um, with a weight, it's actually getting lighter, but with a band, it's actually getting heavier. So the bands train your muscle tissue to increase its power output as the force is being accelerated, where with weight training, it actually makes it lighter. So um, if you can pick a heavy weight, not heavy, heavy enough weight with the bands, you'll always get better res better results, power work out of the bands than out of weight training. Now I'll pose a question on you. What happens if you put both together? So you may have seen a video where I've got a barbell, I've got my plates on the end of the barbell, but I've also have a bands attached to the bottom and comes through. Um, that's good. Uh, the results are still coming from your bands though. Uh, because the bands is what's making it heavier at the top instead of lighter on the bottom. So a lot of power lifters um, that require a lot of power, um, what they do is is that they'll get a barbell to do bench press with the two plates on either side. They'll attach chains onto the end of the end of the um, the barbell. So when the weight drops onto your chest, the chains are falling into two buckets. And as the chain goes into the bucket. Um, the weight's becoming lighter and lighter and lighter. And then they can explode it up and power that weight up. And when they power that weight up, it's pulling the chains out of the bucket. And instead of the weight, they'll naturally become lighter as you get to the top uh, because the weight transfers to your limbs. The weight is actually becoming heavier. So, But they're doing exactly the same thing bands do. What bands do is they simply just make the weight heavier as it stretches. So, um, as you can, so what I've basically told you is that we've explained why bands are better than uh, resistance training, assuming, of course, that you've got heavy enough bands, and we've proved it by uh, using a method of training that powerlifters use. So I hope that works for you, Simon. I hope, I hope you've learned a little bit from that, and I'm um, looking forward to uh, hearing more questions from all of you guys in the future.